Welcome to The Update, Nate Gardner with you. We'll head to the Australian Open first. Aussies Rinky Hijikata and Jason Kubler have won the men's doubles final in straight sets at Melbourne Park. On Channel 9, Hijikata thanking the packed house for their support. Lastly, just to everyone who's come out this entire two weeks, you know, it's been ridiculous. Um, I've never experienced anything like it and I hope I can more in the future. So thank you very much to everyone for the last two weeks. More on the Australian Open in sport. Pressure is mounting on the federal government to raise the Medicare rebate. It comes amid increasing numbers of GPs who no longer offer bulk billing because it's no longer financially viable. Medicare reform will be discussed by state leaders at a national cabinet meeting on Friday. Serious concerns at Victoria's leading cancer hospital with staff shortages reportedly delaying potentially life-saving surgery. Doctors at the Peter McCallum Centre expressing their fears over the postponements, saying tumours can spread quickly if left untreated. Authorities are again reminding beachgoers to swim between the flags. It's after the death of a swimmer in Sydney South and another man fighting for life after they were caught in a rip. In the US, protesters have shut down a major roadway in Memphis. It's over the death of an African-American man at the hands of police. It comes after the release of footage of the violent arrest of Tyree Nichols. The five police officers involved have been charged with second-degree murder. Back home in Perth, six girls aged between 12 and 15 have been charged with 25 offences, including aggravated robbery and common assault. And if you enjoy pineapples, good news, a bumper crop is likely to lead to lower prices for the popular fruit. To Sport Now, and it's brought to you by Labbrokes Mates Mode, the better way to chat, share and bet together. T's and C's apply, and remember, gamble responsibly. Call 1-800-858-858. Arena Sabalenka is this year's Australian Open champion after beating Elena Rabakina two sets to one. The Belarusian coming back after dropping the first set to win her maiden singles title and the win bumping her up to world number two. And of course, in the men's doubles, Aussie pair Rinky Hijikata and Jason Kubler winning the final in straight sets, Kubler says his teammate suggested they pair up just a few months ago. You know, Rinky and I definitely didn't think this was happening uh, two weeks ago, so uh, a bit of, a, bit of a, a pleasant surprise, I should say. In the BBL, the Perth Scorchers are into next weekend's final after beating the Sydney Sixers, reaching the 152 target with nine balls to spare. Saturday winners in the NBL, New Zealand over Melbourne United and the Taipans, too good for Brisbane. While the scoreline in all Saturday A-League matches were exactly the same. It was a two-all draw between Wellington and Perth, MacArthur and Western United and the Mariners and the Wanderers. To entertainment news now, in a move that could create up to 10,000 jobs, streaming companies like Stan and Netflix will be forced to spend 20% of their revenue on making Australian content. The local film and TV industry could receive a half a billion dollar windfall under the new federal government policy. And James Cameron's avatar, The Way of Water, has become the fourth highest grossing film in global box office history, earning well over $2 billion. And we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update. 